welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and an update on some of the painting projects I've been working on the last few weeks or last few days anyway. A um, bit of light relief really this week uh, in terms of uh, delving back into the stash and pulling out some old figures that, uh, well not old figures, but figures I've had for a little while, hadn't got around to painting. Um, with the prospect of face-to-face -face gaming underway again, in fact I had my first game last week, um, I thought I'd dig out some of the, the uh, Dead Man's Hand figures that I had. I've already painted up a few, um, and of course, me being me, bought more than I could possibly need, because every time I see them on discount or something, I think, oh yeah, lovely figure. Um, so um, this is a few more Dead Man's Hand figures uh, from the stash. So these are, I think, well they're a mixed bag. So the next few you're going to see, they're a mixed bag of um, Great Escape Games figures and also some from Artisan, I think they were, um, which I think I got through um, uh, North Star Miniatures uh, because they were doing a discount on them. Uh, this guy in the middle, this is definitely a um, Great Escapes Games um, figure. This is a special figure. This is uh, John Bridges, um, who's a... So all these three I've done as good guys who've put the red um, red band around them, so I know that they're good guys. But yeah, this guy is a special character. He comes with a special card, um and um, has special rules attached to him in in, in Grace in um, Dead Man's Hand. Uh, I just thought it was a fun model. He's got a, an eye, uh, eye patch on one eye, um, using his revolver and his gloves on. This guy's got his uh, repeater rifle there, Winchester, and his long coat. I thought he'd be a good marshal type figure. And this guy more of a sort of uh, normal um, support guy. Um, you know, one of those um, guys on Star Trek that gets <laughs> got shot early in the game um, that sort of thing so nice figures and really good fun and a nice break to paint things like this always good to break up your painting uh, and do something a little bit more simple and easy to paint so that's those three done so next up a bunch of uh, the bad guys uh, this is uh, five of them I've chosen to represent as uh, bad guys again mixture of uh, Great Escapes and also Artisan Games um, yeah, this is a, a native um, guy, used the native coloured uh, skin tone I had, um, washed it up and what have you, so that's good. This guy is a special character again, this one's called the Scarred Man, um, which is great, and again has a special card within um, that you can put into the pack and special abilities within the game, which is fun. Uh, this guy's sort of like a Billy the Kid type figure. It's quite, it looks like a youngster, but with twin guns. So um, I thought he'd be good as a bad guy. And then these two guys are just sort of general camp followers of, of bad guys um, in the squads. Again, love painting these things up. They are so much fun to paint and so easy to paint. Um, and the animation on these characters is fantastic. So... Um, I think I've pretty much done everything I'm going to do on Dead Man's Hand, except I'm probably going to get a hold of a, a sprue of the new plastic figures, just for, just to see what they're like, really, more than anything else. Um, but I think I've got more. Well, <laughs> I have got a group of um, a group of Seventh Cavalry and a group of Native Americans to paint up um, for different bands for the game, if depending on the scenario I'm playing. So I think, but other than that, I think I've got more than enough Dead Man's Hands figures for the game so there you go that's that lot done so these are some fantasy figures um that came out of the stash i'm not entirely sure where they came from i think they were some sort of kickstarter they're resin models um and i really don't know what i had in mind when i bought them to be honest um uh, there's two female warriors this one archer this one uh, got a sort of short spear and a wicked shaped um bladed weapon and this um, sort of big barbarian type figure, uh, fantasy barbarian, I, as I, say, I, I don't know where I got them, I don't know why I got them. Generally I'll buy into a Kickstarter because I think, oh that'll be a figure I can use for whatever or an army I'm going to develop for this. I genuinely can't remember where these came from um, or why I even bothered what I had in mind for them. Um, so they'll either go in the stash 
or they'll go on eBay <laughs> because I don't know what they're for. Um, I did get the chance with this um, this guy to use um, this uh, Game Ink um, uh, skin wash over a sort of uh, regular tone, and I kind of like the effect. It's almost a, um, a very heavily tanned colour. So that's kind of fun, um, which I, I like. So I did my nor I think I did a pale color, a pale skin tone under. Then I washed it with that, and then I put a, a a watered down dark tone over the top of that, and that's given that real sort of dark. Um, somebody's been in the sun for a long time, kind of color, uh, which I which I like. So you know, worth playing around with some paints on figures. You're not sure what you're going to do with um, this. This cloak has had a, a similar kind of wash. It was um, green, and then I used this uh, Game Ink black green um, over the top. And although it's lost a bit of that sort of shine now, it's been varnished. Um, it was it had a nice sort of iridescent sort of effect, which I might try and uh, capitalise on on other figures. But um, anyway, there you go. No idea what they are, no idea how I'm going to use them or if I'm going to sell them, but they're painted. What more do you want? So next up, um, this is uh, for Victory at Seas. Um, it is the uh, German tanker, the Altmarkt. Also, I just noticed one of the mast things is a bit bent. Um, this is the Altmarkt. Um, so I'm blaming uh, British Legion for this, Nick. Um, he showed off on his channel this model it's a limited edition model that warlords did when you pre-bought into the um victory at sea box set pre-order thingy i didn't because i was off put by the uh the spare tires on the ships um but um have now obviously mainly because they gave me that first box set so um i i've kind of really enjoyed i painting the, the ships, researching the ships, and the one game so far that I've had of it, um, I've enjoyed. So I saw Nick talking about this model. Um, you can buy them on eBay. Um, people are selling them off. They're not the cheapest, but they're not that bad. Um, and um, I decided to pick it up just to accompany my fleet. So the Altmark, um, for those who know the story, was a German oil tanker and supply vessel. And it was one of the... Um, main supply vessels that um, provided supply to the uh, pocket battleship the Admiral Graf Spey in the South Atlantic um, so wasn't heavily armed um, but it was certainly um, capable of defending itself against lighter opponents that's for sure um, but it could be quite a useful vessel just to build in for some of the scenarios as if you want something um, you know, something to, for the commercial raiders to go after that kind of thing. But uh, I, I got it really purely because obviously I've got the German uh, Kriegsmarine, um, and I thought it just complete the set. Really, um, it's a nice model. I, I've tried to paint it up as I saw it. Uh, there's some illustrations online. Um, uh, I don't know how accurate they are, but they seem to have a completely black hull. Uh, underneath the waterline it's red but obviously because the, these are sitting so low in the water you can't actually see that so I didn't bother trying and the deck colour was a sort of tan colour um, so I don't know we'll see it, it, it's how it is it, it's a commercial it's a, it's a supply uh, ship so um, but it'll be fun just to have on the table so that's that one done so next up um, my continuing addiction to painting up Napoleonic's um, Shows no sign of abating, frankly. Um, just want to paint more Napoleonics. So I thought I'd start getting cracking on my um, planned uh, black powder Russian Napoleonic army. I'm sort of pitching around 1812, 1813 um, era. Um, and I pulled out a box of... This is Warlord's... Um, Russian infantry. They come with two heads. You can put the ones with the big plumes on or ones without the plumes. So I've chosen to take these as a plumes and make them um, I think this is Fangorovsky um, Grenadier Battalion. Uh, Russians were very big into taking the best men out of all their battalions. Uh, grenadiers, put them in bespoke Grenadier Battalions. Same with the Jaegers. 
they took them out and put them in Jaeger battalions and left the musketeers just to be the musketeers. Um, so this uh, is a large battalion. Um, it's 36 figures. Um, seven, four, eight, 12, 16, yeah, uh, 36 figures. Um, the command sprue, so basically the drummer, the commander, and the two standard bearers are metal. Everything else is plastic. That's what the Warlord's box set gives you. Um, only really two variations of uh, poses uh, for the line uh, troops, or the troops here. Um, but by changing the head position slightly, you can get a little bit of variety in there. But, you know, these are mass troops, so I don't mind uh, don't mind that. Having them marching towards the enemy to kick the, uh, the Frenchies' bottoms is perfect for me. So, um, yeah, pleased how these came out. Um, Russian Napoleonics are actually fairly simple to do. There's not an awful lot of variety in the uniforms, um, which is which is kind of makes life easier. But also, I imagine we'll get a bit uh, boring after doing multiple uh, battalions of them. Um, but and I suppose you know starting off with the Grenadiers is probably um, not necessarily the best way to go. But then again. I have painted all those winter Russians, um, so you know I could always use these um, in uh, shakers and bayonets as well. Um, although these are obviously multi-based four to a base, um, so I'd have to use some kind of uh, um, casualty marker situation because um, shakers is designed to be individual figures, so you can take casualties off any rolled up. Doesn't matter. You can never have too many figures, can you? Can you? And I'm really pleased how these came out. My first uh, first black powder Russian um, formation, and to have a large uh, grenadier one at that, I'm quite pleased with. Really, and the flags by GMB. Um, although actually, the the box did give you some flag, so that's really cool. So happy with them, um, and um, now just a. What about another ten battalions of uh, musketeers and a few, few a few um, Jaegers to do next, and then the Russians are done. Easy. And finally, for this uh, wave of painting, this is uh, a group of six uh, Russian. Well, I painted them up as Guard Jaeger um, or Carabiniers, as they were probably called. Um, I discovered in muskets and tomahawks or the shakos and bayonets rule system, there's um, a slightly better quality. Um, and I use the word slightly uh, correctly in this term, uh, better quality snipers and skirmisher unit within the Russian army that's available. <clears throat> Given the fact that the, most of the Russian uh, troops are terrible shots, I thought it might be worth getting this and using it. And I have actually used it in my first battle, battle report to come. If it has, I'll put a link. Um, so they are called in that guard elites marksman or something like that um and they have basically the same shoot values as a french voltigeur but they're elite veteran um sharpshooters and various things so they're quite an expensive unit um and i filled them as a, fielded them as a six these are front rank um carabiniers um in great coats so in keeping with the winter theme um I thought I'd keep them all in great coats for these uh, front rank. Yeah, front rank. Um, really lovely sculpts. I mean, there isn't an awful lot of variation. That's the only problem I've had with uh, when I'm buying great coat figures from front rank. Um, I love them. I think they're fantastic. The animation of them is brilliant. They're easy to paint up, um, but you don't get a lot of variety. There aren't that many in great coats. But you know, it's only supposed to be a small army, so I'm going to. I'll, I'll be satisfied with that. Also, got a couple of extra officers because I was finding I needed some dismounted officers. This guy I've done painted him up as uh, basically as a, a light infantry or a Jaeger a commander. You may just be able to see he's got green trousers on. Um, they've all got black belts, which is there's not an awful lot of difference in Russian uniforms of, of the period. Um, Primarily Jaegers had black cross belts, musketeers and grenadiers had white. Um, there's a little bit of nuance around, I mean, certainly plumes, the grenadiers and the uh, carabiniers had. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, there's not an awful lot of difference, um, which is good and also bad. Anyway, so I painted up a Jaeger officer there, and this guy is just going to be a slightly higher rank officer again. See the same same figure, which is um, 
slightly frustrating, but it is what it is. I've put a little uh, spare drum that I had kicking around on there in, uh, in honor of my mate Stee, who loves drummers so much, I thought I'd stick a drum on that bass. And there you go, that's another unit completed and uh, actually has seen action. Didn't do an awful lot, but did see action. Anyway, there you go, some of my latest printing projects uh, over the last week or so. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you again soon. This is Dom, signing off. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And even if you didn't, hit the dislike, but please just explain why. Um, it'd be, it's really difficult to know when you get a dislike whether it, what, what the reason is. Um, maybe they just hate me, but maybe it's because you didn't like the subject, but it'd just be helpful to know. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you see when I put stuff up. Um, and if you're feeling, if you're feeling particularly generous, um, there's um, a Patreon page linked to the, to the channel, which helps me out um, when I'm trying to do stuff for the future. And also a link to some um, uh, merchandise like uh, t-shirts and so forth that uh, you might be interested in. So thanks for watching once again. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. Mm -hmm.